Good morning, guys. Starting off the day right today. I'm head over there to the gym. That's right. Starting my day with a workout. Even though I'm exhausted. whole place to myself oh yeah not a soul in sight I noticed the last time whenever we were here and I was on this thing that uh, it seemed to help my ankle out a lot like it didn't hurt I didn't wake up with it like really really stiff but since I've been here in a few days it's starting to get back to where it's stiff so I figure what the heck give that a shot possibly do some stuff on that I don't know I don't know what this day holds. Uh, I'm starting to feel it now. Well, that was fun. I uh, got to thinking halfway through that set that I was doing that tomorrow at work I have to food run, which means I have to carry heavy trays all night long so i cut the workout kind of short i just did like one set of eight on two or three different things and uh because when i get to work tomorrow i don't want my arms to be completely shot where i can't lift anything all right now that work is done time to go fishing and i know what i keep on saying i'm not going to go out to the lock till it rains but it's looking like it's going to rain today so i'm going out to the lock but there's a beach on the other side of the lock. I'm gonna try the lock first. If nothing happens within the first hour that I'm there, then I'm gonna go to the beach side and maybe something will be biting over there because the water's a little bit deeper over there. So we're just gonna kind of play by ear and see how it goes. I'll tell you what guys, I don't know if it's just me excited because I haven't been fishing out and like, oh, well, it's been less than a week, but for me, it's been a while with, the, with as much as I've been going. But I just have, I have a really, really good feeling about this trip. I think we might catch something pretty big and epic. So, I hope. Usually my gut feeling is right, so I hope it still is this time. Alright, I'm here. I got the whole place myself, which is what I love. Ain't nobody here but me. But when I was pulling up, I, I looked across the, uh, the river and saw that there looked like there was some action going on in the water. So maybe the fish are jumping. I know it's getting cloudy. The barometric, tra barometric pressure is dropping. You know, all signs of the fish are going to be biting. So, uh, yeah, I mean, as far as the weather and everything, I'm set up a lot better than I was the last time I came out here. Oh, and for you guys that were asking about the, uh, that noose, yeah, that's a noose, but it's way too small for a person, and it's on a very little branch. So, I don't know what the heck that is, but whenever you pointed that out, it freaked the crap out of me because I'm like, why is there a noose in my fishing spot? Like, what the heck? So I'm going to give it a little bit longer. I set up for catfish because I was not getting anything with the other stuff. Uh, mainly because, I mean, this water is ridiculously low. It's, I've never seen it this low. So I'm thinking over there where the deep water is, over there at that beach right there, right in this little area. I'm not even sure if I'm pointing it out right, but it's a little pond area. I think I might be able to catch some fish. Probably end up giving that a shot. I have a feeling that this is just not going to do anything. But I'll give it a little bit and we'll, we'll see. I only got one, baby. And it's a smallmouth bass, too. That makes me excited because when I was out here with Nick, I hooked a smallmouth bass. A little bit bigger than this one. But he got off where I get him up here. So this is actually the first time that I've ever caught and held a smallmouth bass. And, uh, God, he is just absolutely amazing. Didn't think I'd catch a bass out here, but shoot, obviously some stuff is biting, so I reckon I'm gonna stick it out here for a little bit. That is just too freaking cool. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack it up and I'm, I'm gonna head down there because right in this area, I just keep getting hung up. I'm seeing bass and stuff jump, but they're like little, and I'm getting little nibbles on it and everything else like that, but I'm still, I'm, I got hung up like three times, so it's not worth losing all my sinkers and hooks just to catch a little bit of that. So I know over there it's more like a sandbar, so hopefully over there will be just as productive over here. But, yeah, we'll 
find out. I can figure out how to get over there. So I managed to find my way to the campground. Problem is, I, uh, I don't know how to get out. I don't know how to get out. Because this is not the right spot where I need to be. Oh, uh, leave it to me to get lost in a place that I've visited a thousand times. Okay, I think I found the right spot, but I'm not 100% sure. Because I remember my buddy from work talking about these breezeways. So I'm going to walk down here, see if it's the right spot. If it is, then I'll go get my fishing gear and see what we can do. Well, found it. I found it. Oh, and by the way, guys, this is the creepiest picnic area I've ever seen in my entire life. So creepy. All right, let's go do some fishing. Ow, ow, ow. Wanna see something cool? Is that lock right over there? That's where I was at. And now I'm on this awesome beach. Walking in sand. The closest time I get to the beach. <laughs> so I'll take it. Of course, as soon as I get headed to the fish, freaking storm moves in. Really? I mean, seriously? I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for rain. And now it's got all of a sudden come. Well, I guess I can't complain. I guess I'll I'll try something real quick, see if that works. I don't know, I have a little bit of time. All right, so I was just checking my phone and apparently this storm is pretty big. Uh, well, I mean, it's not real big, but it's Calling for like 50 mile an hour winds, really strong hail, and dangerous lightning. And that's definitely the storm. But after that, there's nothing. So I figured I'd just chill out here in the truck and sweat my balls off. Wait for it to pass, which hopefully will be like in the next half hour or so. And then go down there and see what I can catch. Because I saw a lot of fish jumping. It's definitely a hot spot. i tell you what, it's really hard to tell if this storm is moving away from us or if it's moving towards us gonna miss this or not I don't know because I keep seeing people going down there with fishing rods and I'm like okay either you guys are stupid or you just know that the storm's not gonna hit us because I was always taught that whenever you hear thunder you're close enough to be struck by lightning so I heard thunder I hightailed it out of there so I think this storm's gonna miss us barely but it looks like it's clearing up it might have just moved a little bit further south so We'll give this a shot and hopefully not die in the process. So once you get down here, uh, you realize that the storm <laughs> is uh, a lot worse than what it is. <laughs> oh, good lord. But I got my setup, so my chair goes over. I know I got one, but I'm going to hide up in these trees because <laughs> I'm going to get struck by lightning. I'm terrified of it. And as soon as I get set up and uh, get a bite, the rain hits. So I got all my stuff here. Sitting under these trees in this little walkway. Just kind of uh, waiting it out. It looked like it was going to break up and not even hit us, but all of a sudden 60 mile an hour winds came and almost took my chair away. And then rain and... <sighs> Honestly, I don't, I don't think this... I don't think it's going to happen today, guys. I'm going to do my best to make it happen, but... Uh, it's not looking good. All right, well, I figured I'd give it another shot. I moved down here to this little sandbar area. Got my rod set up like that. So if anything takes it, it's gonna go that way and it'll pull it off. But storm looks like it's clearing up, so it missed us. We're just getting a little bit of rain right now. Nothing too crazy, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully, I've been getting hung up on some stuff, so I don't know, This it might just be too shallow, but maybe a cow will come by and just take it right up. Well, as soon as I ended that last clip, started to rain. So I got my stuff way down there. I can see my pole. I'm keeping an eye on it. I just can't really run if I get anything big. So, you know, everything is just kind of pointing to just going home. I think that's what I might have to end up doing because this is just one thing after the other. Well, guys, time to pack it up. Unfortunately, I don't know what time they close this park, but I know it's around dark and uh, it's getting dark. So, all we got was that uh, smallmouth bass, but I tell you what, I still am going with my good feeling paid off because that was the first smallmouth bass that I ever caught in my entire life, and I got it on film. 
and uh, that's just it's an awesome feeling. But yeah, I'm gonna head to the house before it gets too crazy. This storm is looking, I mean, it's the tail end of it, but still, there's lightning everywhere. And like I said, I don't know when they close this thing down, but it's getting dark, so we'll head back. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know I did. I had a lot of fun, even though I just caught one fish. Still, it was a very successful trip in my eyes because first smallmouth bass I ever caught. So I'll take that as a win any day. Uh, but if you guys are brand new, definitely don't forget to subscribe. My name is Jordan. I do daily vlogs every day, obviously. And uh, let's see here. Today's secret phrase is going to be. I think I had it picked out in my in my head and then I forgot it. Hmm. When you hear thunder, run. When you hear thunder, run. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know what the secret phrase is, that is uh, like when you hear th thunder, run. Put that in the comments. Flood the comments with that phrase. And that way it lets me know who watches it all the way to the end of the vlogs. And it confuses the heck out of the people who have yet to watch the vlogs. So it's a little fun little game. But anyway guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Sleep good. Good night.